Hello reformers and welcome to Elix. That is apparently how you say it. Anyway, this is an RPG made by the developers of the Gothic series. And this, I gotta say, reminds me so much of my first experiences with a Fallout game. And I'm talking about Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. Mostly Fallout New Vegas because I actually prefer New Vegas to 3. But point is, it gives me that same feeling. Anyway. Let us start a new game, and uh, we're going to be playing on normal for this. I think that's a pretty decent level here. As you can see, there's actually an ultra difficulty, and apparently ultra difficulty is extremely overtuned at the moment, so you probably don't want to do that unless you are a masochist. Magalan. Home to a civilization of millions. Until the comet hit. Earthquakes shattered its cities. Firestorms swept the planet. And as Magalan fell into darkness, the survivors faced a world that was unrecognizable. Fighting amongst the ruins of the old world, new factions arose. The Berserkers. The Clerics. The Outlaws, each with their own vision of the future. But it wasn't only the struggle for scarce old world resources that drove them, for the comet had bought something new. Elix, an element unknown to Magalan. It could fuel technology, change the evolution of life, open new abilities to those with the will to control it. For the clerics, it drove new technological innovation. For the outlaws, drugs to free their minds. To Berserkers, it gave the power of magic. Seduced by Elix's power, some began to consume it. Addicted, overwhelmed, most degenerated into vicious, mindless mutants. But there were some who could control their addiction. To them, at the cost of their emotions, Elix offered strength, focus, and stamina. These people called themselves the Albs. Seemingly unstoppable, the Albs have waged war on all who will stand between them and their need to obtain Elix. Advancing from the frozen wastes of Zaykor and their fortress Ice Palace, the Albs threaten the future of all the factions on Magalan. Now, as Alb forces prepare their final assault, Jax, renowned Alb commander, is sent on a solo mission. One Alb selected to change the fate of Magalan. failed your mission. You know our directive. There can be only one consequence for failure.
Well, we have been betrayed by the looks of things. And we now have to pick up a bunch of items. For example, these small healing plants. There is a crafting system as far as I'm aware. So let's try and get as many reagents as we require. Dead. I better move before they come back to finish the job. And I better find a weapon. Well, I, I kind of have a weapon, actually. I do start with a... I, I think it is an iron pipe. So I'll be able to use that. The combat is in real time, by the way. I initially thought that it would be turn-based, but no, no, it's very, very similar in that regard to games like Fallout and, of course, the Gothic series and everything like that. So, yeah, I I'm actually really enjoying this. I played a little bit of it just before starting the recording, you know, just to familiarize myself with uh, some things and to make sure that my software is working and all that sort of stuff. Ooh, arrows, yeah, it's very nice. Now, there are three factions in the game that you can join, and that, I believe, determine what kind of class you're going to be. And I've heard that you can basically use any kind of weapon you like, but I suppose it would be maybe a better idea to use certain weapons with certain classes, but I suppose we'll see what happens with that. But I've also heard that the game is extremely, extremely unforgiving in the early stages and very brutal. So, I'm looking forward to that. Am I? Am I looking forward to it? I don't know. Well, I guess we're gonna see. Anyway, let's just climb over this, yes. By the way, all graphics are on high settings at the moment. Felix is gone from my sister. I feel weak. Think. Think, Jax. My weapons. My armor. Did Calix take them? No. No, if Calix had seen I was still alive, he would have finished the job. It was someone else. This is a dam, enemy territory. If Calix returns, or if the Berserkers find me, I'll be dead for sure. Old world ruins. Maybe I could find something useful in there. And here's the combat, yes. So anyway, as you can see, we now have combo attack. So you can combine quick attacks and heavy attacks to do combos. The longer the combo, the more damage you deal. Always keep an eye on your stamina. I've always found that my stamina with combat in this game so far is quite low. So hopefully there's going to be a way that I can improve that as time goes on. Alright, so let's do this. There we go. Nice. There we go. Yep. And now maybe... Uh, oh, okay. Never mind. I thought I maybe tried to do a combo. There mustn't be a scrap of helix left in my body. Yeah, exactly. So we have apparently been purged of all Elix, so we're technically not an Alba anymore, and we're kind of just a random person, random free person, which is actually very interesting, because everyone is now going to treat us as such, and I think that's that's pretty cool, because we have all of our memories, of course, so it's not the classic, oh, you have amnesia, and now you have to, <laughs> now you have to find your way, you know, it's not that sort of start, but hmm, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Now, beforehand, when I was playing, I think I went into this building here, and, ah, yes, I do need to interact with this in just a second, but I went in here, and then it seemed to progress the story, so I'm thinking maybe we want to go up there this time, and see what's up there, because I don't know. So, let's take a look at this first. You three, one of my crony units. It looks like it took a lot of damage in the crash. That's unsalvageable. I'm wondering where Crony U4 is. If it's still active, then I might find it here in a den. Finding that drone would be helpful. Exactly. New mission, a half-defective tin can. All right, so if we activate our inventory here, I think this is our map. Yes, there we go. And that's where we need to be for the next stage of the quest. And here are our missions. So as you can see, we have a companion quest here. He requires repairs, but should make a capable companion. So shall we mark that on the map and see where we have to go? It seems like I have to go that way. That seems a bit weird. Oh, all the way, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, so it's not actually up the alternate path that I just thought. It's very, very far away, actually. So let's just mark the survive mission again. And instead of, you know, not knowing what's up here, let's try and find what's up here and see what's going on. And maybe there'll be... Wow, that's a pristine brick wall, if ever I saw one. Hmm, I'm actually wondering if there's 
going to be... Oh, we can jump. Oh, that's great. I mean, I know. I know we can jump, but I, I didn't think that we could actually jump up this. That's interesting. Okay, so bear in mind that going off the... <laughs> going off the beaten track is a very easy way of dying very quickly. Because, again, this game does not pull any punches, and... I don't want to say it's like Dark Souls in that respect, because Dark Souls is kind of a bit different. But in this respect... Oh, no, I took damage. Great. Okay, what's that? What is that? Oh, that's okay. I think I should be able to deal with it. I should be able to deal with it. Combo! Yes! Okay, now, here's the thing. <laughs> you can use healing, of course. You can use healing potions. Now, I'm going to try, if I can, to avoid the attacks of this enemy. There we go. Come on. Okay, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, we can parry or evade, but I'm just going to try and end this fight as quickly as possible. There we are. Okay, so. Phew. Ah, now thankfully, we are going to be getting a huge amount of healing potions as time goes on, so I can just drink that, no problem at all. Some raw meat. You can actually cook meat, by the way, at uh, various campfires and cooking stations and things like that, so we can hopefully use that in just a second. Okay, so it seems like we've come back to the main area where we first appeared. Ah, interesting. Okay, so is there going to be another enemy over here? No, but there's arrows, some elix, a water bottle, some more arrows. Okay, yes, thank you. Is there anything else here? Yeah, you can climb on everything, by the way, so... <laughs> uh, probably gonna be doing that. Ah! Adventurous Amulet! Excellent. Okay. Well, as I said, I did not go up here beforehand, so this is going to be interesting to see what this is. Okay, so arrows... It's nothing I can... Oh, wait, no. Never mind. I'm going in the wrong menu. All right, so... Ah, it gives us lock picking, and it also increases armor value. That's actually really nice. Okay, I'm going to be wearing that. Thank you very much. And we're currently using an iron bar, which does 20 damage. Yes, how fantastic. Now, there are a variety of different weapons. There's laser rifles, bows, shotguns, and all manner of melee weapons. And as far as I'm aware, you can also use magic. Because, obviously, as you may have seen in the opening cutscene, Berserkers, thanks to the power of Elix, are able to use magic. And Outlaws, I, as far as I'm aware, have chems. So, very, very similar in that respect to Fallout, which is why it gave me that vibe. But the main reason why I'm thinking of Fallout when I'm walking around here is because it's giving me that first exploration kind of feeling where I don't know what is ahead and I really, really want to find out what is. And that's a very important facet of an RPG game, in my opinion, because, I mean, if, if the game doesn't sort of entice you to continue looking around and exploring and picking up all this useless loot, even though <laughs> most of it's probably not useless, but, you know, for the most part, like, for example, a small yellow gemstone, I mean, I can probably sell that, but a mug, you know, I can pick up a mug, I can pick up some tape, I can pick up a casket, you know, it's all semi-useless loot, which I don't know what it does or anything like that, but it kind of makes me want to pick it up just in case. All right, so we have a bow now, so it might be an idea for us to use that against the next opponent, even though it's not really necessary. I think it's probably a decent idea to do so. There you go. So we got our bow, and I think I can right aim it, but we're using right click in just a second. All right, so there's uh, the, the the normal rats around here can be killed for two experience, as you've seen that I've done that before, because I'm just thinking to myself, oh, I need as much experience as possible, because I have been warned that this game is very hard, so I guess everything that I can get will help us out. Electronic scraps and a lockpick, that's great. And is there anything else here? I can sit in an office chair if I so desire. Okay, now let's be a little bit careful. I think there is actually, yep, there is actually something going on here. Isn't there? I think there is an enemy coming up. Hello. I missed. There we go. Phew. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> oh, I used a lot of arrows, as you can tell. So, yes, I won't be able to use my bow any further. Maybe for um, a shot here or there. But let's just kill these... No, no, could, could I just stop it? Thank you. Could you just stop attacking that one rat? Thank you very much. I would very much appreciate that. 
There we go. You can kind of tell that the combat is a little bit weird in that respect, but I think it's just a, a matter of getting used to it for the most part. So anyway, let's pick up some more of these things. Shotgun shells. Give me those shotgun shells. I'd very much like to find a shotgun as soon as possible. Okay, so th th that's a map. And that's giving me an idea about where something is, but I'm not entirely sure what it is. Maybe it's that thing that we found, the adventurer's amulet. Maybe it's just telling us that we missed something back there. That could be the reason. Alright. Oh, yes. This also reminds me of Oblivion. Somewhat. It reminds me of Oblivion and the way that did things. And it's also reminding me a little bit of Skyrim in that respect as well. Because obviously Elder Scrolls in general is quite similar to each other. But, yes. Otherwise, there's actually something over here I want to pick up. Electronic scrap and a small healing potion. Yes, we now have six of those. So that's good. Let's open the doors and get outside Small hint just look at the birds I'm here in enemy territory what was Kallax doing here so far from Zaycor? If I want answers, I need to find him. And, for that, I'll need weapons and equipment. Yes, we will need weapons and equipment, that is for sure. Now, have you <laughs> have you noticed the birds? I have as well. I'm I'm I don't know, I think that actually adds to the charm of the game. I know that that seems really, really janky, but I think it adds to the charm of the game personally. And even though these things are present, and even though the combat is a little bit clunky here and there, you know, you just kind of need to get used to it, obviously. But the point is, is that I kind of want to find out what happens, you know? I want to continue onward. I want to see what is going on in this world, and I want to explore it. And that's crazy, because usually RPGs just w take way too much time time for me to actually invest into them so you know it gets a little bit sad in that respect but this kind of just holds my attention all instructions from service personnel thank you for your visit to the observing yes thank you very much voiceover person I, uh, that was very loud very loud all right so we're in the bowels of the of the complex here Back. finally some luck the guy that took my armor must have dropped it. Now, all I need to do is find a way out, cross kilometers of enemy territory, and find out why my brother tried to kill me. What could go wrong? Yes, what could go wrong? I'm actually just seeing how far I can zoom out here, because previously I didn't even try that, so that's, that's interesting. Anyway, yes, we have a jetpack now, so we can get to higher elevations. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Okay, so we're just going to continue taking our time here, and if you're not really a big fan of a person taking their time when they play an RPG, then, well, this probably isn't the well, video series for you, I guess. Anyway, worker pants. Yes, give me those worker pants, and we're also going to be looting everything else, like the toilet paper and the healing potions. Hello, rat. I'm going to kill you for two experience. I'm terribly sorry. Oh, there we go. I got an achievement as well. All right, so let's see. Met oh, magnesium torch, a metal scrap, and I think is, are those are those something? Are those? They look like shotgun shells, but it seems like I can't pick those up anyway. Yes, we have some cigarettes here. We can sell those for a little bit of cash. And we got some toilet paper. It's coarse, but it does the job. Yes, very much so. All right, so we can head onward. Wait a minute, is that something I can pick up? Mm, I thought it might be a, a new weapon of some sort, but no. Ah, iron ore. Huh. I missed that last time. Anything else? Damn. The land of the berserkers. If they recognize me, they could finish Kallax's job for him. Ooh, there's a berserker over there. Yes, that is obviously one of the three factions that you can join. Well, uh, shall we sneak up to him? I don't know whether that's going to make a difference. Probably not.
Come on, get up. If you're gonna make a habit of attacking people without warning, you should get better at it. I heard you before you even left the ruins. Someone tried to kill me. They stole my armor and my equipment. Then I find you here waiting to finish the job. First you attack me, then you accuse me of being a thief and a murderer? If I wanted you dead, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Trust me, you need to apologize. Prove you're not the thief, and I might trust you. Only facts matter, not words. Huh. Trusting people quickly out here is as good a way to get killed as walking around without a decent weapon. Which means you just got very, very lucky. I can help you find a safe place and new equipment, if you stop trying to attack me. Why would you help me? That's my job. I look for people out here and help them reach Goliath. You'll be safe there. Safe? You could be some kind of slaver. What is it you really want? I want this war to be over. Until then, Goliath needs more people to survive. And people need a safe place to go. Well, a safer place than being out here on your own. But you're welcome to stay and risk being picked up by an Alb raiding party. Between them and the rot boars, you won't live long. Say, you didn't see anyone else up there in the ruins, did you? You're the first person I've found this trip, and it would save me a trip up there to check. You can save yourself the effort. There's no one up there. Well, then you got really lucky. An Alb Raider crashed a few days ago, and their scouts came through looking for it. Trust me, you don't want to run into a party of Albs. But hey, enough talk. You need to decide what you're gonna do. I'm going back to Goliath, and you can come with me if you like. Safety, security, and you can find work to earn enough to buy equipment. If you want a chance to survive, it's the best offer you'll get. That's why I joined the Berserkers. Out here, drifting, and hoping to stay alive. I knew it was only a matter of time before my luck ran out. I know joining a faction doesn't appeal to everyone, but it gave me purpose. And what have you got to lose right now? Nothing from what I can see. What you say is logical. Logical, right. Does that mean you're coming? Every choice you make adds up in this world. The way you speak to people will determine your course in life. Just take a look at yourself. No armor, no weapons, no companions. You've not exactly succeeded in life, have you? Well, all that changes today. Whatever you've done before, your life can start again. A new beginning. When the next Alb raiding party comes down from the north looking for Elix, the people of Goliath will defend you. You won't see the inside of a converter with us to protect you. Instead, you'll get a chance to prove yourself. To join us. Why do you want to help me? Like I said, Goliath needs people. Warriors, cultivators, hunters, storekeepers. Whatever your skills, we can find a place for you. You'll train me and give me equipment? If you stay, you'll have to earn your place. But be you cleric, outlaw, or alb, that's true everywhere. Sure, you'll get given orders and you'll have to follow the law, but it's not like you have things easy out here. Look, we can keep talking, but at some point, you gotta decide. So, what's it gonna be? Are you gonna stay here, or come with me? Your actions and words seem to match. I will trust you, for now. <laughs> yes, well, I'll take that as a compliment. You won't regret it. Combat, magic. If those interest you, then the Berserkers offer training to people who join their ranks. We'll make a warrior of you. We should get going. This is Rotboard territory. You won't last long if a pack of them turn up here. Follow me to Goliath, and you can earn the elected to buy armor and supplies. Trust me, you'll need them. I want to find the thief who took my armor. Well, for anything stolen near here recently, I would start with Ray. He's an outlaw I found out here a few days ago. Very jumpy. Definitely looking for something. Where do I find him? Huh, I don't know. He disappeared off to the northeast. I'm guessing he went back to Tavar. But, hey, I wouldn't rush after him. He's probably sold your armor by now. 
I will come with you to Goliath. Lead the way. Then follow me. And if we lose each other for any reason, you'll find Goliath to the east, at the foot of the mountain. Just look for the light from our mana shrine. You can see that from a good distance away. Oh, and the name's Durus. Pleased to meet you. Just lead the way. Very well. And keep up. Keep your eyes open. Ah, there we go. We've met our first friend in this world. And... That will be it for this episode. If you want to see more, then by all means let me know. Otherwise, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.